Hey Deckers, if you want to remote play your Series X on your Steam Deck, then I have the perfect app for you. As you can see here, I'm even running it in game mode. I still have Lost Judgment installed on my Series X, so I thought I'd give it a quick spin. And I was actually very impressed with the lack of input latency or issues at all here. Sound was spot on, no latency at all and it looks absolutely perfect with a 60 frames per second solid. This is quite easy to get set up, although there are a few things to watch out for, so let's dive straight in. First off, you'll need to switch to desktop mode and then open your browser and search for Greenlight Xbox. I'll put a direct link in the description as well for those that want to get there quicker. And then pick the latest version. I did pick a beta version because it had a couple of extra fixes and download the Greenlight app image download this to either your desktop or somewhere easy to get to and if you want to run this all you have to do is double click it you'll get a couple of security prompts and just say that you want to execute this and you'll get a authentication pop-up for your xbox login log in with your xbox account and if you tick this stay signed in it will stop prompting you every time you want to play and then once you're signed in you'll get access to your console as well as xbox cloud streaming now, if your console doesn't show up straight away here, don't threat. First of all, be sure that you have actually enabled all the remote play settings in the profile system settings, devices and connections, remote features, and make sure that enable remote features is set there. And also check that the power option hasn't changed to shutdown as that needs to be in sleep. Otherwise, you'll have to manually turn on your console every time you want to remote connect. That has changed recently, so be sure to check these settings. If you've done all that and you're still not seeing it here, then just go and restart your Xbox. Sometimes it does this no matter where you're trying to connect from. So just give it a reboot and then restart the Greenlight app and you'll be good to go. It's always good to test this out with your phone or another device that you know is all set up to make sure that your remote connection is working. But I did just find rebooting this worked perfectly fine. One thing to note, if you're playing this in desktop mode, you will need to keep swapping your configuration for your controller of the Steam Deck. So pressing and holding the menu button with the three lines on it will swap between your mouse and your controller layout. As to get to certain parts of the app, you will want to use the mouse. But when you're in game, obviously you want to switch to controller mode. So make sure you use that three menu bar long press to switch between the configurations. If you want to play this in game mode though, there are a few extra steps. For the advanced users among us, you'll know that you can use the chmod commands directly on the app image to create a executable. But if you want something a little bit simpler and longer term, you can use something called the app image launcher. And we have a full guide on this on the channel, which I'll point to you in the description below. But very briefly, just download the app image launcher, which I've linked below. Copy this command to your console and run it. All being well, that will create an applications folder in your home directory and you can just drop the app image there. That will then create an executable for you that you can then manually add to your library. So once you've done all of that, whichever route that you've taken, just come in and add a non-Steam game to your library and find the green light app. If you try and add the app image here directly, it will not run in game mode. So make sure that you've done one of those fixes. Then we can swap over to game mode and as you can see I've got access to my console and also Xbox Cloud Gaming here as well. The layout of the xCloud library here is not the greatest and you will need to use either the touchpad or your mouse control shortcuts to navigate the libraries here. But once you're in game the controller configuration kicks in. So instead of using the browser you can now use the app for both the remote streaming and also for Xbox Cloud Gaming. The quality seems okay. It did seem to crush the blacks a bit when I was playing through on Battlefield 5. I did notice some stream compression while playing this game, which didn't seem as bad when I played on the browser. So this can do both, but I think I would still prefer playing the cloud version in the browser, but I will do some more testing to confirm. There you have it, there's how you can remote play your Xbox on both the game mode and desktop modes. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving in and what your experience of the cloud gaming has been using this method as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.